Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing a Happy Meal haul. Hey guys, welcome back. I got a couple packages today and I've been getting a few cards in the mail, so I thought I'd hop on and show you guys. One, to let the people know who sent it that I did receive it, and two, because it's fun to share um, the stuff. And I did want to do the holiday card swaps, and I got I started getting some in, so I'm excited. I still haven't mailed any of mine out yet. They are all over here in envelopes. I just have to, I was going to write out all the addresses, but I think it would be easier for me to print them. So I'm going to, um, I already got address labels and everything. I'm just going to print out everybody's address, stick them on there, and then I got to go put stamps on them. And I do got to get, uh, I think, 10 international stamps, so... I need to do that first because they're, it takes longer to get there. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into the haul. Okay, first I want to talk about the first card that I got. <laughs> and it is from Kelly. I don't want to say her whole name. But it's Kelly from Georgia. And when I first saw it, because in my informed delivery, you know, it just shows you the envelope. And it, you know, you can kind of tell when it's a card. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my first Christmas card. But actually, it's my very first Thanksgiving card. Like, ever. I've never gotten a Thanksgiving Day card. But she sent me a really cute Thanksgiving card. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's glittery and it's got little uh, a fox and little like hedgehogs or porcupines, I'm not sure, and cute little mushrooms. And this one porcupine has got an apple <laughs> stuck in his quills. I don't, I'm not sure if that's a porcupine or a... But she wrote a note in there and I don't want to share the note, but I should. Just the picture. Really pretty. And that was my first ever Thanksgiving Day card, so that was super cool. <laughs> that made me super happy. But the first Christmas card that I got is right here and I was super excited about this too and it's from Betsy in oh gosh I can't say the state I always mess it up Massa Massachusetts and it's a Christmas card it's kind of dark I don't know if you'll be able to see it good but it's really pretty it kind of they're not Clydesdale horses they're just regular horses I don't know anything about horses and they're at like this house with Christmas lights oh it's got a Oh, it's a sweet store. There's a sign right there. You can't see it. I can barely see it. <laughs> but it's like a candy shop, and you can see in the window there's a Christmas tree, and there's some kids. And it's just really pretty. I love Christmas cards. And again, she wrote a little note, and I don't want to read the notes, but I will show you the picture. So, thank you, Betsy, and thank you, Kelly. And I did get two more uh, Christmassy cards, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I can't remember... Okay, I think this one. Oh boy, I hope I didn't get these mixed up. <laughs> the envelopes, they weren't in their envelopes. This first one, I'm pretty sure... Wait, let me check the handwriting. Yep, okay. The first one is from Janice from North Carolina. This, she answered my yarn wish on um, Instagram, which if you don't know what that is, there's a post that goes around every November called Get Your Yarn Wish Granted. And it was started in the knitting community and it's made its way over to the crochet community and even like um, cross stitchers and stuff like that do it. But what you do is you post your wishes and then people from all over the place can grant them. And she granted mine, which mine was just for a, a Christmas card and some stitch markers. So she sent me this really pretty, I love this card. It's like, ooh, it's, it's auto-correcting, but it's like Tiffany blue <laughs> with gold. Ah, it's auto-correcting. <laughs> it's really pretty though. Merry and bright and she put the stitch markers on the side. They're uh, the light bulb clips with elephants. And she wrote a note in there. She has really nice penmanship. But it's just really cute. I love this card. The colors. I love Tiffany. The company. I'd love to have Tiffany stuff. But that's real expensive. But I love the color. And that's just close to it. And then the next card that I got was from Allison in Connecticut. And it's got a cute mouse on it. It says season greetings. It's got stockings and a little mouse. I thought that's cute. So thank you, Janice and Allison, for those cards. Okay, the last card that I got. I got this one today. This is a thank you card. This is from um, a girl who won one of my giveaways. I think it was the Knit Craig giveaway. Um, yeah, because it was when I gave away two. It was when I gave away the green yarn and the white yarn. And she got the white yarn because I remembered her last name was White, and she won the white yarn, and I thought that was funny. But her name is Tanya. Well, I just said her last name. But I did say it in that video, too, so it's okay. But she's from Texas, so she's in me this really cute... Uh, thank you card with a, I forget what that's called. Is that a Boston something? Boston Terrier or something like that? Uh, just a thank you card because she really loved the yarn that she won and she just sent me a thank you card, which was super nice and completely unnecessary, but uh, I'm glad because it's a cute card <laughs> and I love getting mail. So thank you, Tanya. Trying to keep the envelopes. All right, the next two are little packages that I received today. 
uh, in the mail. So I'm going to share them with you guys. The first one is from Gail from New Hampshire. And I thought that was so cool because I'd never gotten anything from New Hampshire. And I just love, you know, I'm, I used to collect stamps. So I love when I have uh, a package with the stamps on it. And then when, you know, when the stamp stamps to so, show that they've been used. Those little stamps on them. <laughs> I said stamps a bunch. But, you know, because I used to collect the actual physical stamps, I love every bit of mail. So I love getting stuff from new places and seeing the different date stamps and all that kind of stuff is what I'm trying to say. But it's from New Hampshire. And she sent me, she, uh, in one of my videos, I talked about how I wish I had an advent. And uh, so she sent me fabric and a note and the, di di the directions to make um, an advent hanging for like Jesse to uh, learn from. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm gibberish. But she wrote a note and I don't want to read it. And then she also has the, the directions. I haven't even looked at the advent yet. Because I was in the car when I was opening my mail. I wasn't driving. Devin was driving, but still. Let me unfold it. This is one of those panel pieces, kind of like that book that I made. Um, but this is just a, a little advent calendar. Oh, it's a train. I love that. Because I love the Polar Express movie, and I've been... Oh, uh, oh mm, okay. Focus, Ella. Calm down and focus. Chattanooga is really close to us. It's like an hour away from us. We're like an hour away from everything in Tennessee, just about. But Chattanooga, we go there all the time to the aquarium and stuff. But they have train rides down there, and they do the Polar Express, and I want to do it so bad. It's kind of expensive, but one of these years, I want to do it. And I tell Devin, when we go to do it, all three of us are wearing our pajamas, because you have to wear your pajamas to the Polar Express. You can't just wear regular clothes. But here it is. Oh, the Christmas lights are showing through it. But it's a really pretty Christmas train. <laughs> and then the um, the little the advent little pieces, you know, the little pocket pieces, are like little people. There's Santa and bells and gingerbread cookie and a teddy bear and a bird and an angel and all kinds of stuff for the, the different days. And I think, oh, yeah, along the edge here, it does have the the directions, the sewing instructions. Yeah, I'm excited. I might try to make this Thanksgiving weekend. That would be perfect timing too because the Monday, Sunday after Thanksgiving is December 1st. I gotta make this that weekend. <laughs> Y'all need to uh, remind me to make this. If you're in the Facebook group, just randomly post and say, Ella, make the advent. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, she wrote like, she printed out. The one that she printed out is different, but it's the same concept. And that's basically what she said. Uh, you know, for help, for me, for help, helping me. <laughs> but thank you so much, Gail. I love this. Jessie's going to love it, too. I'm excited. I'm definitely going to try to make that next weekend. Not this weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Maybe this weekend. I don't know. What's Jessie? Thank you so much. I love that. <laughs> All right. The next package came from Kara. I can't remember where she's from. Texas. She's from Texas. I've had a few packages from her, and I always appreciate all of them. And Jesse, I'm just going to say, he got a book of stickers, but he just left a little while ago to go to my mom's house, and he took those with him. But it was just a book of a bunch of Christmassy, wintry stickers, and he, he was like, bye, Mom. He took them with him. <laughs> me and him both love stickers. We're big sticker people. Jesse is just like me. He looks like Devin, but he's just like me. And it's because he's with me. I want to make sure I said Texas. She, I know she's from Texas. So I don't have to look. But she sent me a bunch of goodies, and these were... Like, I didn't even know that she was doing this. She just did it because she's awesome, I guess. <laughs> but I was excited when I was opening it. Because my first open day, I saw one of the yarns. But I was trying to dig in there and get a card out. Because I wanted to read the card before I went prowling through everything. And so I did see the yarn before I um, read the card. But then I did find the card, which is right here. And it's a... Uh, I don't know what that shape's called. It's a decorative shape. And she wrote a big old note in it. <laughs> and uh, she basically just explained... All the stuff that was in here and um all that jazz what is that thing called fleur 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 de, de, is something french <laughs> i guess i can't do it but she did also include a gift card to um dollar tree for five dollars for us to get christmas decorations which i thought was funny but perfect timing because i finally took my halloween bats down from the hooky things up there and um there are snowflakes at the dollar tree that i'm wanting to that i've been eyeing to put up there so we might go get some snowflakes. But Devin wants to make um, 
cut out paper snowflakes with Jesse. <laughs> so we might hang those up. I don't know. But we'll definitely put this to use for something Christmassy. So thank you for that. Put that where I don't lose it. Okay, so she sent me a bunch of stuff. <laughs> First, she sent me a copy of Your Crochet Magazine, which is a UK-based um, magazine. And she said in her note that she accidentally bought two, so she just sent me one, which I'm super appreciative of because it's like a Christmas one. <laughs> so it's got all kinds of... I love this. I'm probably going to make this wreath for my county fair next year because the wreath is one of those grapevine wreaths. You can't really see it. But you've got all these hollies and mistletoe and the birds crocheted. That'll be so pretty. And then there's all kinds of amigurumis and there's sweaters in here. There's one in here. I already looked at it a little bit. There's a sweater in here that I'm for sure going to want to make for myself. I can find it. I already skipped it, I think. <sighs> okay, 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 right here. It's called the Light It Up Sweater. It's a granny stitch, but look at it. And there's like cluster granny stitches up here. Mmm, -hmm. it's so pretty. I'll probably make it in different colors, but there are like, there are like five or six sweaters in here. And there's a really nice poncho, and then there's a bunch of Christmassy things, and there's some pillows, and there's some mittens. There's just all kinds of stuff. So I'm probably going to make a lot out of this. And it is written in UK terms, which she mentioned in her note, which when I first started crocheting amigurumi, I accidentally messed up my Christmas pudding, actually. <laughs> He's over there on the mantle. Um, I read it. It's in UK terms, but I read it in English terms, so I messed him up the first few rounds before I realized what I was doing. Because at the time, I didn't know that every amigurumi needs to be in single crochet, <laughs> or it will look not good. <laughs> but, um, so, thank you so much for this, because I will definitely use it. And I already have got my eye on some of them patterns. So, she also sent me two yarn cakes. And I've had Karen cake before, regular Karen cake. I've never had Karen big cake, and I've never had Karen cupcake, but now i got one of each of those. So she sent me a Karen Big Cake, and I think it's Tiramisu colorway, which I was just looking up patterns to make with this much yarn, which is like 600, 603 yards. So I was trying to find something that I would actually use um, to make out of this. This is a size 4, but it seems kind of thin, but I'm, I want to use it. I might actually make something for my mom, because this looks like colors my mom would love. And then she also sent me a cupcake. I can't remember what she wrote on here. It's called Tutti Fruity, which is super cute. It's right up my, my alley, and it's the kind that comes with the little pom-poms. I might, like, I need to make a hat for Jesse, because all his hats I made him last year are too small for his head, but I really like this, so I'm probably going to keep this for myself. I'll make him a different hat, <laughs> but I love these colors. I'm not going to give these to him, because he won't appreciate them the way they need to be appreciated, but uh, I can't wait to use that, too. I've never had those two types of Karen cakes. I've only had like two or three regular can cakes. All right, let's see. She also sent me some fabric that she had just left over. Um, she sent me this one. This is, it's really bright pink and a really pretty blue. And it's a good hunk. It'll probably be bags after the new year. And then this piece, I really like this and it kind of reminded me of Anna <laughs> when um, I seen it. Just because, uh, you know, it's hippie colors, kind of, and it's got the peace signs and the flowers and the hearts. And it says love, and it says best friends, and laugh, and peace. It just reminded me of Anna when I seen it. <laughs> but, uh, again, this will probably roll over into the new year and be bags or liners or whichever for bags. And then the last two things she sent me were homemade things, which is even better. <laughs> I love getting gifts. You know, everybody loves getting gifts, but I love getting homemade gifts and like thoughtful gifts it's different and so one thing she sent me was a mug rug which I'd never even heard of until maybe Seta I think started YouTube and started getting you know when I first started seeing her and she started getting more popular and I knew who she was <laughs> she started talking about mug rugs and then other people started talking about them and trading them and stuff so this is a sewn mug rug mug rug it's really pretty it's um I think she said in her note that she hand pieced the tree and then the rest of it was machine sewed. And it's kind of, it's quilted. It feels like there's a another layer in there. There's like some batting, really thin batting or interfacing or something in there. <laughs> and uh, it's beautiful. I know the purpose is for it to be like a coaster under your mug. But I'm only going to use that if my mug is, doesn't have anything in there that's going to be gross. But I don't want to get it dirty. And, you know, I know obviously it's fabric, I could clean it, but, I, you know, if you clean stuff a lot, it sometimes compromises the integrity of it and it falls apart. And I don't want that to happen. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I love it. 
So I will definitely take care of that. And the other thing that she made me was an ornament. Well, I don't know if she made it specifically for me or if she had it and gave it to me. But either way, it's mine now. <laughs> and it's uh, sewn. It's got a big old fat pink cat and then this gentlemanly cat. So now I can hang it up <laughs> because I've shown it to you guys. This is really cool. This wouldn't be hard to make. Because they're like... What are they called? Pentagons? What's the six-sided one called? <laughs> I'm not good at math. So I don't remember all that. But it's one, two, six of them and then two more for the front pack. That's so cool. I don't know where her turning side was. Maybe up here where the ribbon's at. That's so cool. But it's beautiful. And I love all of it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much everybody who sends me stuff. It's completely unnecessary. Um, but I do appreciate it, and Jesse loves everything that everybody sends him to. And, and I am going to be getting a lot more Christmas cards, and I'm super excited about that. I've got a huge stack over there. So far, I think I have 66 that I need to send out. <laughs> and that's just from people from uh, the YouTube community and the crochet community. I also have, like, you know, people I, I know in real life to uh, give cards to and all that. So I got a lot of cards over there. I gotta go get a lot of stamps. I should have bought them today. I was at the post office and I, I didn't think about it. <laughs> but I gotta get at least three books of stamps and then I gotta get ten international stamps. They're the big, they're like big and round. Last year they were white and green. I don't know what they look like now. I haven't had one in a while. But I'm excited about that. I need to do that now because sometimes, like the ones to Australia, they take a while to get there. So I need to hurry up and do that. Because <laughs> last year I sent one to Lee from totally.net and she didn't get it till like January, the middle of January, I think. But anyways, that was my yarn, or my yarn haul, my mail haul, and there will be some more popping up because as I get, I'll probably wait till I get a few Christmas cards and share them so it's not crazy repetitive. I meant to share this, the cards in the No Catch Name episode I filmed yesterday, but I forgot, so I thought I'd make a whole separate video, but I will share them every time I get them so that everybody knows that I received them, and also because I like showing them off because I love Christmas cards. They're like any kind of cards, really. They're just so beautiful. And I, I got a Thanksgiving card, which is so cool. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.